10 units on this side are moving out on March 3rd. This is where opportunity lies. This is where creative finance can come in and go to that seller and say, hey, I will take over this property. I'll take over the burden. Me and my partners will come into this deal and we'll actually get it back up and going. Operation will take care of the tenants and we'll take the burden off your plate. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're gonna talk about where does multifamily opportunity come from? And I'm actually standing in it right now. This is kind of a quicksand, like, pit of despair. The person who installed this at one point thought, hey, I'm gonna help my tenants out by putting in a volleyball court and I'm gonna put up a volleyball net. Well, I don't see a net and guess what? All I see is a bunch of weeds filling in this whole entire space. I've walked around talking to the tenants of this property that I'm about to take over actually with Creative Finance are really unhappy. They're unhappy with cleanliness or the lack thereof of the property. They're unhappy with the fact that the laundry rooms are disgusting. They're unhappy with the fact that there's just a bog. Look, I mean, look at the, look at the swing sets, right? You got swing sets here. What do I notice? here also I noticed that the entire playground is completely covered with weeds nobody's actually taking care of it there's no walkway that goes to the playground the dog poop scooper thing is completely tipped over and has fallen apart the air conditioning units half of them are new half of them are barely hanging on and there's just opportunity everywhere in this building why because these are a sign of distress this right here is a sign of distress. My landlord or the owner of this property does not actually pay attention to this property. If you don't pay attention to your property, your tenants become upset. Your tenants actually walk out and start stop renting from us. The first tenant we talked to today said, I'm moving out on March 3rd. That's in about a month from now. I don't know when this video will get posted, but it doesn't really matter. I want you guys to go and watch the full interview with that tenant and listen to how I explained to the tenant how he, as a 20 year old, should not be renting this building, but he should be owning it because of a creative finance. But that's a whole nother interview on another uh, day that we'll release. I'll make sure the link is down below. Come check this out. Zach, you seeing the opportunity here? You see the, the pain and the struggle that this landlord is obviously going through? Yeah. They put in a volleyball net because they thought it would make their tenants happy. How many years ago do you think that that net was installed? And how many years have gone by since that, that net was even taken care of? All it now is a string, a couple years. So if you've got years of neglect on this property, there's something going on behind the scenes and that's where opportunity lies, okay? Come on, I wanna show you a couple of things that really scare me. First and foremost, what is this? This is a, supposed to be a tether ball. Thing. I'm supposed to hit play tether ball right here. Where's the tether ball? This concrete is so full of dirt and sand, nobody's actually taking care of the amenities of the property. Which means the landlord's not stopping and asking the tenants, hey guys, what do you guys think is the most important thing that I could work on? Wouldn't it be smart for you guys to actually put maybe a walkway to the volleyball? Maybe put a nice little swing, like mulch or something here. Maybe refill the mulch here. Look at this. At one point, Zach, they had mulch in here and they've let the weeds take over the entire place where the children of the tenants are playing. So what does that tell you about the landlord? What does that tell you about the opportunity that lies here? Somebody like me comes along and actually gets boots on the ground, a good maintenance person. Here's the truth. This property is owned by a lady who is neglecting the property and her husband is the person that's doing the maintenance. Come check this out. I think the telltale sign of this, this is a really obvious big sign of distress is let's go take a look at the parking lot and you tell me if this parking lot shows you that tenants are happy here. You got 138 units at this property. We're in Fayetteville, Louisiana and I'm buying this property with Creative Finance. You're gonna notice a lot of interesting things first and foremost 30 percent of the car oh maybe 50 percent of the cars on this side guys it's sunday people are not out at, at their work this is sunday and over 50 percent of the tenants all the parking spots the de designated parking spots are empty that is a sign of distress this bush right here that's sticking up is just a bunch of sticks why does that bush look good but that bush doesn't? It's because the property is being neglected. Let's look at the trash real fast. And this is probably the best part of the entire building right here. The trash bin shouldn't be over here. The trash bin should be right here. And it should be really easy for the tenants to walk right up, get into the trash can. But instead, this is what you're dealing with as a tenant. Okay, you're dealing with this. When people say, how do I find multifamily deals? Guys, this is how you find them. You drive them, you go look at these properties. This property was actually brought to me, which was is pretty amazing, right? Being able to teach people all these years of how to go find these properties ultimately gave me the ability to have people bring opportunities to me. You've got all these people that are running and the, and the landlord is not taking care of the property. You've got mold on the buildings. One thing that we heard from the tenants is that the tubs are not being fixed. The sinks aren't being fixed. They're actually asking the, t they're actually asking, what's up? I'm right, huh? Yeah. See, you've even, got, you've, you've even got a tenant right there that's overhearing the conversation. 
The tenants are like, you're right, 100% right. The tenants are not happy in this building. The landlord is not taking care of the tenants. Therefore, half of the tenants have moved out. Anytime you go into an apartment complex where this is the parking situation, I can walk directly through the entire parking lot. Does this tell you that you have happy customers? There are no customers here. Half of the building is empty. In fact, Lydell, one of the gentlemen that we talked to, again, link to that video is in the description. Lydell gave us a whole breakdown of what's going on here. His entire side, his entire unit, which is two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 units on this side are moving out on March 3rd. This is where opportunity lies. This is where creative finance can come in and go to that seller and say, hey, I will take over this property. I'll take over the burden. Me and my partners will come into this deal and we'll actually get it back up and going, operational, take care of the tenants, and we'll take the burden off your plate. What people don't understand is what's going on with that seller, right? I do know what's going on with the seller. I can't disclose that information outwardly, but every single time there's something like this going on, there is a seller in distress, which poses an opportunity for us. So obviously driving for deals, one of the best deals I ever found was actually looking at roofs with Google Images, literally with Google Images, and seeing that all the 41 buildings had eight different colored roofs. What does that tell you? It tells you that the landlord is barely, barely holding on, not even replacing all the roofs at the same time. They're just kind of hodgepodging things together. That is where opportunity lies. This property could be cash flowing $40,000, $50,000 a month after debt service is paid for. The problem is nobody's taking care of the property. You got trash all around. This is everywhere. The entire property has trash everywhere. Now, as we wrap up this video, something that was really interesting conversation today, this is actually one of the better dumpsters right here. You got dumpster lids have been sitting here for such a long time. It's pooled water. There's leaves in it. This is not something that happened today. This is happening because there's no maintenance person on site. Nobody gives a crap about these tenants. Nobody cares about their customers. It doesn't make sense to me. It does make sense to me because I've been in the business long enough to know that this is where opportunity lies and landlords that are not taking care of their tenants are gonna lose their tenants. That is the opportunity for somebody like me to come in here. Look at this, it's a brick building, bro. Like, don't you look at this brick building and you're like, yo, the, the building's made of brick, so it's not gonna fall apart. You got a good roof, you got a good shell. All you need to do is take the cash flow and invest that cash flow into revitalizing the property. You do that for six to maybe 12 months, this property's in primo condition. But instead, look at this. These cheap ass landlords, instead of fixing the fence right here, what they did, how long ago do you think this is, how long do you think this has been sitting here like this? Months, right? Maybe even a year, more than a year. This is what's been going on. So guys, when you ask me a question of how do I find multifamily opportunities to buy on seller finance, this is how you find opportunities to buy properties on seller finance. You get out there, you get into the streets, you see fences falling down, you see trash scattered around, dumpsters all falling apart, you see the amenities not being utilized, and then you actually talk to the tenants. You see how quickly that happened when we were just walking by the tenants? The tenants are unhappy, okay? So that is a wonderful way to find the opportunity. Now, we are buying this property on Creative Finance. We're currently under contract, so I'm not gonna disclose all the information, but we'll do a part two of this video. This is a property in Lafayette, Louisiana, over 100 units. I can't disclose the address today in this property walkthrough, but in part two, once we close escrow on this, I'll give you a whole numbers breakdown. As long as you guys give me a comment in the comment uh, section and you guys like and subscribe, please share this with a friend. And don't forget to go watch the video where the tenant and myself had a whole conversation right here on how he should have got into creative finance. We'll see you in the next video.